So I am going to be doing a unboxing of the Solomark Universal Mobile Phone Camera Adapter. This thing is used for telescopes, so I am going to go ahead and try to unbox this with one hand here. So this is the um, adapter. Now, first thing I want to talk about, and this is one of the biggest things that you guys should know. The downfall of this adapter is, is the pads. The padding on these are going to be the downfall to the adapters like this. Over time, if you're using this adapter, taking it on and off with your cell phone, the pads will wear off. They will finally come off and or they'll tear and all that stuff from taking it on and off so much the adhesive on them it, it fails quite a quite often in fact i have another um mount here and you can see here at the corner uh, where my finger is um that's where one of the pads was so now i only have three pads on there I have one right there and then two up at the top there this one, this one I actually recommended, and um, this one's a little bit more of a metal, so it's a lot more heavier than this one is, but this one I think is going to be a lot easier to use, at least with my cell phone. Your cell phone, it may be a little bit harder. Um, I'm actually recording this video with a Samsung Galaxy S7, and um, to me, I've used this, this mount so far. Or this adapter, not metal, but call it a bracket, whatever. I've used this one so far. And I kind of like this one because it's easy to kind of line the camera up. Let's see if I can do this real quick. So you can see there, right? It's it's kind of got the, um, the shadow. And, and that's pretty close to um, the adapter being... Or, yeah, the adapter being... Where it is. So that's about perfectly centered with the hole and the camera. There's a little bit of what I call um, the edging of the adapter that shows up and whatnot. But that's how it looks with it over the eye. See that? So much easier to use this. Tell me, take your telephone and put it on the side. Now, I actually this actually works with my cell phone camera. Uh, well, yeah, it works with my cell phone case on. So I have like one of these uh, cases you can't really see, but because uh, it's kind of to the phone, and I can't show the phone and the case and all that. I could, but I have to take it apart. Anyways, though, it fits pretty good. Now, um, as I said, the downfall to this adapter is, is the padding, because I know already over time that this padding will tear. It'll actually peel, and then you will lose the ability to have it grip um your cell phone and stuff now i know that you want to be you want to know now that a um a, a cell phone that has like a cur uh, like a um a hump on it or like a curved back where it's not a flat cell phone i know like the nexus 6 cell phones they have like a curve in the back you're going to want to use this adapter with a cell phone that has a flat back to it so it's got to be flat all the way across otherwise if it has a curve it's not going to sit um flat with your uh, cell phone and the adapter which is a real big thing that you really need to be careful for because you don't want your cell phone to fall because we all know what happens when they fall and they hit hard so you got to be careful for that now this whole adapter is pretty much plastic so what I didn't show you was is actually connecting this to a um to a, a, a eyepiece but you have to rotate this part here and this will loosen and uh tighten the actual um thing around your eyepiece so there's like these little teeth right here and they get closer together um let me see if I can loosen this a little bit here I have, um, this is a 40, a 40 millimeter Plossel by Celestron. Pretty decent eyepiece. It actually needs to be cleaned because it's got a lot of dirt stuff in it. Um, 
And for an eyepiece like this, where it has like this lip, you'll have to fold this down, which for me is going to be a big pain to do this. So I'll see if I can do. All right, so I have the lip folded now, and uh, the way you use this is you take this part here of the adapter and you stick it on top of the eyepiece. Now, all right, we should be able to hopefully grip this now. All right, so it's tightening around the eyepiece now. You want to make sure it's nice and snug around the eyepiece I and mean, all that goodness. Girlfriend's texting me again. All right, so that's that's it holding the eyepiece. Now, obviously, you don't want to hang this like it is. So that's it with the eyepiece. Let's see if I can stick this over the eyepiece there, and you can see that's how it looks with the eyepiece over it. Now, obviously, with this, I want, you're going to want to put your cell phone on this part of the uh, mount itself. Um, so this is for the, this works for the Plossel, and it also will work for this eyepiece too. So they're really, you know, they can't really use a big one. I don't think the two inches will work with this um, adapter. This is a 40 millimeter Plossel, and it fits pretty good on it. It just got a decent grip to it. There's no um, padding in the inside of this at all. It's all plastic gripping on the eyepiece and yeah. Um, so that's basically the uh, video on this uh, adapter. Now I know you guys probably want to see me using this and I will. Right now it's actually raining today so I can't take it out and I can't use it. But uh, I do plan to actually use this once the weather clears up and all that goodness. And then I'll be able to hopefully use this mount again. Uh, by the way, you have these new, these knobs here that tighten it and bring it out a little bit. So you can put your cell phone in. This one is to adjust uh, different directions and whatnot for your cell phone. This little part here goes like that. It can also slide forward and back if you have a small phone. And that's um, basically what it is. This side right here where my finger is pointing at. This allows these two to spread out. Now, unfortunately, I have to let this video end here because I can only go uh, 10 minutes with this uh, quality of the video. Anyways, if you guys have a question for me, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I've gone ahead and put a referral link. So if you guys want to let me get a kickback on you buying this, it's down in the description below. And uh, like I said, if you guys have any questions for me, Feel free to leave in the comments. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want. If you want to hear back more on this adapter, I'll try to use it. Try to show you guys uh, basically how it works and all that stuff. Uh, hopefully soon enough. Um, I haven't been able to recommend it yet, but I will do a follow-up on this adapter hopefully in the near future. Anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you like.